Good evening guys, and today I'm doing lab 13 of the CompTIA Security Plus lab series, Mitigation and Deterrent Techniques, which is a bit of password cracking when we get, get it underway. So we're using a bit of Linux and uh, Windows and using a few tools to sort of uh, see how we go about it in terms of um, password cracking. Might be too advanced, I wouldn't have thought, but we'll see how we go. This is the first time me doing uh, this prac, so should be some interesting times. Uh, so the sheet says to me, backtrack five internal attack machine to go to that one. Alright, so I was written password to log in, start x to open that. I've got the password incorrect first go. And we are in backtrack 5. And generally it wants us to go to terminal. Does it want to load for me? I'm not too sure. Sometimes it takes a bit to get up and about. So cat, as you see, password. to the space for some reason. Linux is very finicky. Okey dog. So, I've got a chart here in front of me which uh, shows a few users and users and their passwords. So I'll just go with them. Uh, group ad Simpsons. Very nice um, name there. And they also want us to do a Sesame Street one as well. I've got another tutorial very similar where they go with the Simpsons and Sesame Street as well, so they, they really like the cartoon characters. Uh, next, cat, etc. Group. Go in the group directory. And it should show down the bottom Simpsons, Sesame Street. Perfect, just what we're after. Now to add in the usernames. So we type in user add Elmo minus G, which stands for group Sesame Street. So a very similar process to the other tutorial I had. And user add cookie minus G Sesame Street. Oh. Accidentally had a gap there. And who, is, who else we have? Oscar. Oscar's the other one. So I can just use the up key to uh, make it really easy so I have to type it out every time. And user add Bart minus G, he'll be in the Simpsons category, no doubt. And next we have Lisa. Type in Lisa for the group of the Simpsons. And then we have Homer after that. No Marge, how yes, sexist. <laughs> no, that's all good. To see the user accounts, we can go to cat, etc. Password and pipe, get regular expression home. This is a home directories which will show the new guys have added in basically Elmo, Cookie, Oscar, Bart, Lisa. Time to assign the passwords. So we got password Elmo. One, two, three, one, two, three is apparently what they want us. One, two, three, one, two, three. Solid stuff. Now, password cookie. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twice. Very secure password, that one. Oscar's next. I can't spell it. And his password is one San Jose. One, one San Jose. One San Jose again. I can type well there. And next, we got Bart up next. And his two welcome. Two welcome. And if you're wondering why it doesn't show up the actual password there, you, uh, that's Unix slash Linux's way of um, having 
doing their passwords so no one can see them topped on the screen. Windows has those uh, those imaginary dots almost. Now for Lisa, academic, academic. Sweet, that's Lisa. Now for Homer, password Homer. <laughs> Acupol, <laughs> whatever that is. A C A P U L. That won't. Yeah, no, nah, didn't think so. I'll try that one again. Just doing Homer again because I stuffed up. Aka. Ak Aka. Aka. Pulko. <laughs> it's a random password. I've never heard the word in my life. Now wants us to use a tail command. So head or tail shows the first ten lines or the last ten lines, depending on which command you use. So um, I guess yeah, there's our users, and wants us to go to the shadow account after that. And this this is basically the password file. So you got Homer and his encrypted password there. Password is there with encryption. It certainly won't tell me the password because that would be too nice. Next up, we're switching to the John directory, John the Ripper, which is a password cracking tool. CD pen test passwords, John. Can't spell John. All right, here we go. To view the password hashes in the show file, you type in dot slash john space etc. Shadow. This is going to be absolutely spot on, otherwise, you're in big strife. A couple of those dashes uh, word list equals dash root slash word list dot txt. So it's cracked cookies password one two three four five six seven eight nine two welcome Bart one two three one two three for Elmo one Sandros for Oscar obviously the more um, complicated the password or the more yeah the longer it will take I guess and there is all the passwords cracked. Albeit they're not very difficult ones, but that's beside the point. Lisa took surprisingly long, which I was slightly surprised with. And so John the Ripper's done a very good job there. Pretty good password cracking tool. And that is part one of I'm guessing part three of this tutorial. So next we're going to move on cracking Windows passwords. So the first command they want is MSF console. And this will launch a Metasploit, and, and surprisingly, it does take a little bit to load, as a few things seem to. And we can use question mark to see the available list of commands. And IFConfig oh, if config seems to be one of the ones they want to show us. So it's the IP address there of uh, the one we're apparently going to attack right there. And type in nmap. See all the switches. So nmap minus s capital P. We case sensitive, so we've got to be careful there. One nine two one six eight hundred with a dot wildcard. So anything in that sort of subnet, and we'll find exploitable hosts. So back there, we're, we're actually uh, 100.3 where the attacker, the victim is 201 apparently, according to my little sheet. Alright, so right there, that's the, the victim, and this is the attacker, which is us. 
So in map minus O, capital O, 192.168.100.201. And this will, f um, so this finds open ports in the operating system for the remote host, which is the one we're attacking. And again, it'll take its time. So right here up the top shows all the ports that are open and it's going like nuts even though I did a little bit of a scroll. So these ports are all open, probably not a good idea if you ask me. Next up they want us to search ms03 underscore 26. Next up, we show options, see what we can do. And info. Once we've done our search, we do use ex exploit slash windows slash dcrpc slash ms03 underscore 26 underscore decom. Again, I typed in the command wrong, so there we go. Good. No spaces there. Now we show options. Ugh, let me see how on that one. So this is the port 135 that we're concentrating on. So info. Looks like we're going to attack through port 135. So we're going to nmap 192.168.100.201 minus p for the port. 135. Alright, now we want to attack the remote machine, so we go set our host 192.168.100.201. Our host is set at that IP address, which is an internal machine. Now the payload set payload. Windows slash interpreter. I'm guessing what that call is what it's called, and I'll dash reverse TCP. And for configuring our host, we go set our host 192.168.100.3. So we have us identified and them identified. Show the options. And it's as simple as this, we go exploit. We are hacking, if you like, the interpreter. So now we're inside the machine of 192.168.100.201. Hash dump, that's what we've been told to do. Hash dump. And now we highlight all the hashes. And copy. Open up another terminal or two. And gedit win hashes. So here's all the encrypted uh, username. Oh. Passwords assigned to the username, so it wants us to save it apparently. And close it. Open up another terminal, cd, pen test, passwords, and going to back to good old mate Johnny the Ripper. And we're typing in dot, dot slash john space root slash win hashes 21 different passwords that's intriguing quite a lot and this will uh, attempt at the very least to decode all the hashes
I cancelled it after six because uh, it was taking forever and it was going to keep taking forever, but that's just a rough idea. It is decode the passwords right then and there. That is part two of three, done and dusted. And the next part of the prac will be cracking pa Windows passwords with Kane. So now I'm just logging into the student account. Logs in pretty quickly. Good. CMD apparently. Yep. <laughs> no dramas there. Later. <laughs> CMD. Alright, now we're creating an account. Net user. User 1. All good. <laughs> Minus add, oh, slash add, so I'm guessing the password's all good. <laughs> it's not all good. <laughs> and we're gonna make another user. Net user, net user2. All, all the caffeine. Nice password. So you spell caffeine, yep, looks good. And add. Got to put in user. And the last one, net user three and password is barricade apparently. Barricade. Add done. Now we're going into Kane on the desktop. The cracker tab, right click add to the list. There's our three accounts, so we can click on one, do a shift and down, and they want us to do a dictionary attack with LTM hashes. We need a word list file, so we go add to list, and go into word list, and word list.txt, and we can click start. Ah, oh, look at that. All good, all caffeine, barricade. Uh, our passwords and we have user one here so we have the password for that user two and user three so that's all that's the prac done and dusted can't even seem like the simplest tool to use Linux was lots and lots of commands as it generally is but uh, there you go that, that's uh, exercise for lab 13 which is a bit of password cracking seemingly so I hope you've enjoyed this guys, don't forget to check out my other labs or to, and tutorials as well to get a bit of a suss of those and uh, enhance your knowledge further potentially. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and share around to your mates, that'd be perfect. would really appreciate that and thanks very much for sticking around guys, I'll catch you all next time.